Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight, and it's kind of a late night run for me, but uh, I thought I'd take an opportunity um, to uh, do a new series on installing MX. Uh, it's going to include some partitioning, it's going to include uh, writing to the USB. Now you might look at this desktop here and say, boy, that looks an awful lot like Ubuntu. Well, this happens to be Ubuntu. I, uh, I always keep an eyeball on what Ubuntu is doing because, you know, why wouldn't you? They're the big boys in desktop Linux and it's good to uh, see what everybody's got going on. And also to show, uh, show you if you happen to be on a different Linux distribution and want to use our live USB maker because of all the persistence type you stuff you get with that, that you can do that. Uh, let me crack open Firefox here. First off, I'm going to plug in my monkey tail USB. There we go. And now I'm going to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, so here I am on the MX Linux download links page. And actually down here in the area with how to get it and the direct downloads and the mirrors and the torrent files. You come down here in notes and we have this link hidden down in here for the LUM app image. That's our live USB maker. You can click on that and it'll take you to our to our download. When you click there and click there is the release page and save. I'm going to save that to my home folder. I always forget Ubuntu's buttons are at the top of the dialogs. So I'll come over here to files. It's a very fast download, or at least it should be. Almost there. Okay. So we come in here and as per the instructions on the screen on our on our page with the app image, we can uh, extract it's a it's a tarball compressed archive and it's going to have the app image inside it because it's already can set up to be executable and now I'm going to go into the terminal and per the instructions on the web page it's sudo dot and uh, live USB make I just, I'm lazy I hit tab to autocomplete okay and so here we have the um, MX or an Antics Live USB Maker GUI on Ubuntu because it's in an app image. Uh, we've tested this on Ubuntu. We tested it on Manjaro. We tested it on a few other things. Um, so, you know, hopefully it works out for you if you're on a different distro. I'm going to select the ISO I want and that's in MX release because I got every ISO ever made in here and I'm going to pick my 19.2 AHS or OZ advanced hardware support ISO open that it's already pointed at my 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 uh, correct USB stick but if you needed to put it in afterwards you could hit the refresh and it'll come up and we're gonna to go to town we're gonna to make the stick this doesn't take very long uh, this is probably gonna take a little better than a minute uh, to do uh, so we'll just kind of hold back and let it do its thing. And here we are at 99% getting ready to finalize the live USB been a pretty painless uh, experience here so far. The hardest thing to do is to download a tarball, extract it, and run sudo in the app image name. There we go. Live USB creation successful. Took about two minutes and six seconds uh, to do its thing. And now all that's set on my live USB is ready to go. So in the next video, I'm going to uh, start setting up my production machine back into uh, my main my main machine I'm going to be redoing my MX uh, uh, partition mostly because I've done a lot of kooky development type stuff here lately and I'm sloppy I don't keep everything on the on, on a on a separate testing partition or anything I've basically just installed everything on the one partition and I really need to clean things up and with our live USB tech it's just easier and faster to do it that way uh, and go then than to do it any other way so at any rate, you'll be along for that. I'll be doing some repartitioning because some people have asked about that. I do have multiple drives in this machine, so I'll be doing multiple partitions. Um, 
related to drives, I'll at least be showing that for the user out there that asked for it. And we'll be going through a regular install, then I'll want to update things to do after you install MX. So obviously I've been gone through pretty much the entire COVID outbreak, uh, except for some videos with my wife. Uh, she still has my other camera, and we haven't really dismantled the the uh, school studio just yet because we don't know if we're going to be needing it again or not. So uh, I'm on a crappy webcam, uh, but I do have my good microphone. Anyway, for tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org and annexlinux.com. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night. <laughs>